Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller with Service Management Leadership. I want to continue our discussion on potential obstacles to your the success of your ITO4 migration, adoption, whatever you want to call it. We've talked about the ITSM tool sets, we've talked about the metrics. Now I want to talk about, I kind of dismissed this topic earlier, a couple episodes ago, on change management versus change enablement. Yes. I don't care what you call it. It doesn't matter to me. It's okay either way. However, you have people in your risk and security departments that call it change management. You have your business stakeholders that call it change management. You have your leadership and all your reporting that says change management. You need to go through some training, some organizational change management, OCM, and some classes and redefining, helping people see the paradigm. I know there's irony and let's have some organizational change management to change the name from change management to change enablement. I get the irony in that and it's pretty funny, right? But you can't do that in a vacuum. You cannot say, okay, we're just gonna call a dog a cat now and not tell anybody because everybody's confused. And you talk about wanting to help the adoption of your service delivery and the consumption of your IT services, you need to make sure everybody's calling the same thing, the same thing. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for consuming all of our content. We do appreciate it. We ask that you like, share, subscribe, wherever you're consuming this. Follow our LinkedIn company page and let me know how service management leadership can help your organization solve your business problems. Have a great, great day. Thank you.